Well, we're certainly excited to be one of the 16 teams left standing, uh, or standing. Uh, obviously, proud to be here at TCU. Always great host, great venue. Uh, been looking forward to the challenge that this weekend presents. We're going to go to questions for the student athletes, and then we'll let them go, and then just focus on coach up here by himself. So, far away from the Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, our, our fans are great at home. Uh, we take uh, we get really energized with them, but at the same time, we don't have a problem playing on the road. We, try, we like to create our own energy and uh, take it just like any other game. Don't treat it too big or like it's uh, anything bigger than what it really is. So we're just going to come out and play our game and not really worry about the outside circumstances. So I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think uh, we've played some of our best baseball on the road, but you know, taking that, I, I believe there's going to be a lot of Aggies here this weekend, and we'll be able to feed off their energy and, and play you know, Aggie baseball. Grayson, uh, what were your thoughts when you saw TCU's seven-run comeback and eventually winning the game? And as a pitcher, is that, I, I assume it's probably worst nightmare scenario, but what were your thoughts uh, when you saw that, that that's how they, they you know, clinched the spot in the Super Regionals? Yeah, they're a good team. Uh, they're, they're a momentum team, and, and a lot of things had to go in their favor for that to happen. And, you know, we'll just have to limit that and, and, and play a good, solid defense. Yeah, you know, uh, baseball is a game up and downs. You know, we can't really focus on the results. I feel like uh, we kind of got away from our, our good at bats and our approach there for a couple of games there a couple weeks ago. But I think we got that back towards the end of the regional, even though maybe the runs didn't show it. You can give credit to Cal. They're a great pitching staff. But uh, I think we keep focused on having good at bats and just having team at bats. I think the, the big innings of the big games will come back for us. I know it's a lot of fun. Any super in general is going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, then two Texas teams, two fan bases. I'm sure this place is going to be pretty, pretty fun environment, pretty exciting. And I'm sure a lot of us know each other on each each team. That's going to add a little to it, but it just adds it up. But either way, it's going to be exciting, super regional, and so we're looking forward to it. Blake, what would it mean to be able to win a super regional in you guys' home state and, and do it against the home state team? Yeah, you know, it'd be huge. I mean, any super regional win, like I said, it'd be huge. The opportunity to go to home ball doesn't come on very often, so this we're going to take it in stride. We're going to enjoy it, have fun, and. Uh, Focus on playing good baseball, playing hard, and hopefully they'll come out on top there in the end. Blake, uh, NC State was able to have some success uh, with power hitting last uh, last weekend. A few home runs, one uh, one their Saturday night game. You guys have a lot of home runs in your lineup. I mean, how do you think that might be able to counterbalance TCU's pitching staff, and, and you know how much of the power aspect can help you uh, this weekend? Yeah, well, if you can, if you have the ability to hit home runs, you really never have a ball game. You're always just one swing away or a couple swings away. But that being said, this is a this is a big ballpark, and uh, I mean our offensive approach you don't really try to hit home runs. It's a result of having good at bats or get hitting mistakes. And so our, our approach is to go in there and have good at bats and take what's given to us. And if we have to hit some home runs, it's going to be as a result of that, and not us trying to hit home runs. What were your initial thoughts in batting practice today? Uh, Yeah, like I said, it's a big win, uh, it's a big field. The wind's blowing in a little bit, so it doesn't carry as well as other parks. But if you make good contact, you can still get out of here. And like I said, we're going to focus on uh, staying through the middle of the field and taking what the pitcher gives us, and I think we'll have good results if we can do that. Uh, we've been through a lot, like Coach said. You know, we've, we've been down to our last out, and, and all we do is just keep punching back. And TCU's kind of the same way, so it should be a, a pretty fun weekend. Jason, what is this series like? You know, trying to get to Omaha in Texas and then playing another Texas team. Uh, it'll be great to to do it in front of some of our fans if if that works out, and and just having the support from everybody, and you know, being able to dogpile potentially in our home state would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, I have a Twitter and all that stuff. I've seen some people talking about it. I don't know the whole gist of it. Apparently, they snagged some tickets. I don't know how much it was. But, I mean, I guess if our fans think it's a help advantage, that's great. I love to have the support. But at the same time, we're focused on what's going on on the field and we're focused on playing good baseball. Christmas 
Uh, yeah, they're a left-handed dominant team, and, and you know I'm, I'm probably just gonna have to pitch my game and, and not really let the let the game get sped up, and, and not know they like to run a little bit, and uh, you know I'll, I'll have to finish them in with fastballs and, and pitch my game. Grayson, how much do you know about what Cody Jones can do at the top of the lineup at TCU? Uh, getting on base, he's even had some pop in his bat this year. I mean, what are you? How are you planning on? I know he's a great hitter and uh, he's had a good year, but uh, you know I'll, I'm just gonna have to pitch my game and, and not let you know his name overpower mine. We'll do two more questions. Anything else? Grayson, same one for you in terms of just how much fun this is as a Texan with it coming down to two Texas teams uh, for, for the right to go to the College World Series. Yeah, it's pretty special to be the only two left in Texas that, that could have a shot to go to Omaha and. You know, being able to do it in front of, front of home fans and, 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 like Blake said, any super regional win would be great and being able to dogpile in Texas would be incredible. Blake Phillies, we talked about this year. Now it's a little tough settled in at third. What's your feelings on that? How much confidence does he give you in being over there at third? And Logan Joyce playing there? Yeah, Logan Joyce stepped up here. He got his opportunity. He's made the most of it. He's starting to play solid defense. And uh, he may have not gotten as many hits as he's wanted the last couple weekends, but I feel like his at-bats been really good for the most part. And he solidified the defense over there, made some great plays there down the stretch in the regional to help us get off the field. So uh, got a lot of confidence in him. I, I think he's going to make all the routine plays and get, keep him as good at-bats. And uh, that's all I can ask for out of the guy. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Good job. The left side of our infield played really good this past week and, you know, part of the reason that we're still standing and, you know, we go through last weekend and, you know, we won that regional based on our pitching, based on our defense and getting timely hits and, you know, we proved our, ourselves that we can win in a lot of different ways. We hung our hat all year long on, you know, the big inning, our bats and, you know, being just good enough on the mound, but um, we're able to cover up some of our, our mistakes defensively, but, you know, we're certainly moving on because we played great defense last weekend. Coach, I, I can't reference the, uh, the Southwest Conference with those guys on either side of you because they might not even know what I'm talking about, but I can't with you. How special is it to play on the Southwest Conference school or Big 12 school for the right to well, I, I just think it's great for the fans, you know, that, that have followed the, the, all the college sports in Texas, especially college baseball, that TCU and Texas A&M are playing for the right to go to Omaha. And it's just going to make for a great weekend of, for sports fans and obviously college baseball fans in the state of Texas. I do. I, I'm sure the, that Lupton was the same for, as far as the energy and the excitement last weekend as it was at our place. And I'm certain it'll be every bit as good this weekend, if not better, than, than both venues. And, you know, you can't ask for anything more as a coach. You can't ask for anything more as a player growing up in the state of Texas, hoping to play college baseball and get an opportunity to, uh, you know, play for either TCU or Texas A&M for this weekend. It's something that every little kid dreams of in the state of Texas. Well, kind of not really optimistic just based on the, the injury that he had and the short time period. It was going to have to be a, a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work on his part. And, you know, the first time we got him on the field against Ole Miss, he was, he was pretty good. And the next week, not so good. We didn't help him a lot defensively in the conference tournament. But last week when we had to, had to start him, you know, the first thing was a little bit shaky. But his third, fourth, and fifth inning, he looked like his old self. His stuff was crisp, explosive. All, you know, three pitches, his secondary stuff was outstanding. And, you know, it just means a lot that a kid is willing to say down the stretch, last weekend of the year, I'm willing to give up a year for the team. If I can help the team continue to move on, I've got no issues doing that. I want to help this team this year now. And uh, it's a tribute to him and his character. I'm very thankful. I know his teammates are that he's a part of this. Coach, how do you uh, feel like your power game stacks up against this pitching staff and also in this ballpark, too? 
Well, you, you know, like the guy said, you better have a flat approach in, in this field. If you're, you're up there trying to hunt the home run, it's going to be a long weekend for you, especially with TCU's arms. You're not going to get very many opportunities against their staff. It's obviously, if not the best, one of the best in the country. And they're going to be few and far between. When you get, get your opportunities, you've got to cash in, and you're going to have to cash in with a great approach. If you're hunting a home run in this park against these pitchers, it, it's going to be a, a short weekend for us. Well, it's just another special moment. As a coach, you know, you've got some things that really motivate you and make you appreciate what you do. That, for me, is the biggest by far and away. And whether it's here, whether it's in Florida, whether it's in, in California, uh, to get the opportunity to see our kids happy, joyful, uh, excited is something that makes you do what you do. I know it is for me. And, and to have those special moments in my mind or over the last 25 years or something that, that keep me going and – uh, make me reflect back on all special kids and special moments that we've had, and uh, you can't ever get tired of those. Grayson Long, his stats kind of speak for themselves, 9-0 with the ERA and strikeouts, but you know, maybe for someone who hasn't seen him pitch this year, I mean, how special has he been to your team, and what does he uh, really bring to the table when he goes out? Well, we're only here today because of Grayson Long, and obviously a lot of others. Last weekend, just like TCU, there's a lot of heroes. Uh, for teams advancing, you got a lot of heroes, but – you know, when we had the two left-handers go down for him to step forward and say, I'm going to lead you into every weekend and give us a chance. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of the man he's become, the pitcher he's become, and we are here today because he's, he's been very, very consistent week in, week out, and giving us a chance every time he's taking the ball, and I would expect he's going to give us a chance tomorrow. Probably a little bit better. Knew that he was going to be a, a, a big-time college prospect and certainly somebody that we wanted in our program, and he chose to come to TCU, and he's had an amazing career, and it's been fun to watch him from afar and to say I wouldn't would love to have him on my team uh, would be a lie. I mean, he's he's got electric stuff. He's going to pitch for a long, long time, and, you know, he's helped pitch them to the College World Series last year. He's helped pitch them to this point this year, and like I said, I mean, he's, he's going to have a long, you know, special career in, in the game. Our first two, uh, we'll go with Grayson Long, obviously tomorrow, Matt Kent in game two, and, and leave that game three open and do what we've got to do, you know, in those first two games. Well, well, you know, I think Blake said it best. Our whole focus is what's going on between the lines. TCU's got amazing fans. Texas A&M has got special, special fans. And, you know, make Olsen Field what it is. And I know that we're, they're going to be here as in full of, of force as they can possibly be here this weekend. And, you know, that's a good feeling that we're playing close to home and that we are going to have some maroon in the stands. In a quick way. I mean, it's never over till it's over at this time of the year for any team across the country and give TCU a lot of credit. And, you know, after we got beat on Saturday night, I told our team out of the seven that went down, there's going to be two, possibly three that, that have enough to come back and, you know, win their regional. And, you know, I just pulled a number out of there. Maybe that's what my gut was telling me. And, you know, two of them did. And it was TCU and Texas A&M. And, you know, I just find it ironic that both of us are the ones playing this weekend in the Super Regional. But, you know, that was the message to our team on Saturday or Sunday morning after the heartbreaking loss on Saturday night. And our guys certainly responded. And, and TCU, just like us, dead in the water, down 8-1, to one, found a way. Or down 7-1, to one, found a way. And, you know, it's just a lot of toughness, a lot of courage on both teams. And this weekend ought to be a great, great weekend for baseball. Well, it was it was exciting to watch, and as a baseball fan, you felt great for TCU, you felt bad for NC State, and you know, for us, I think we were still you know excited about what we had done. You know, losing a heartbreaker on Saturday night, winning, and, and I don't know how many innings it was, 21 on Sunday, and and then again on Monday, I thought, you know, that was the excitement for our team and and what we had accomplished, irregardless of who we were playing the following week. Well, I would think the home team's feeling a little bit more pressure. They got every all advantages. They're sleeping in their own beds. They're at home in their own fans, their own park. 
know the bounces, know the idiosyncrasies of the park, and I would expect the, the, all the pressures on the home team. Usually is, at least statistics say that.